Hey Scorpio, welcome to your Soulful Tarot session. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't stop smiling. I don't know if you're hearing it in my voice, but I'm just so happy to have this moment with you. We're going to dive right into your session. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And I just want to shout out my lovely Scorpio friend, Juan, who sent me the most beautiful birthday gift ever. Um, I just celebrated my birthday on May 12th and um, I was so spoiled by some of you guys and just, you know, I, I can't stop smiling. I'm just so happy to be with you today. Okay, what is the general energy for Scorpio? What is the general energy for Scorpio? Oh, okay, the Two of Swords, I like that. Two of Swords is so magical. It always felt to me like it was a circle of salt around me, like protecting me. And I always go back to the mastery, like how much strength, physical, mental, it takes to hold two swords in that way. I don't know, this is my favorite image in the tarot. It's just, it really speaks to my heart. And I feel like every time I pick this card, I discover something new about it. Um, so two of swords, something is shifting when it comes to your mind, your perception of something. Um, and you are protected. It feels like there's something that is finally ready to flourish. A cycle ended and a new one is ready to open. And you might have a choice to make. You might have to figure out, okay, how can I honor this intuitive call right now? How can I trust my mental, physical strength, remembering that I have myself no matter what? Uh, I'm getting this, this push here. It's like there's something you want to say, Scorpio. And for some reason, you're not able to say it. Maybe because you don't want to scare someone away. Maybe because there are feelings that you're not ready to honor. Oh, it's crazy. I, I was like smiling so much and now I feel this very tender. Uh, it's like a door opening and it's very tender what's hidden there. It's not sad. It's just, it's a little heavy. Oh boy, okay, Scorpio. There's never, there's no, no reading on the surface for you guys. And I think this is why I have such an amazing time reading for you. Um, the depth of your energy, it shines through in every reading. Um, okay, what do we have here? The Wheel of Fortune, okay, it's starting to make sense. So you're going to have to trust this calling, Scorpio. You're going to have to trust, even if you don't see right now that it's possible. What is this thing that you want to say? What are the feelings that you're kind of pushing away? What did you lock away with a key? Because now it's ready to come out and it's going to be for your greater good. The wheel is always for us. It's always turning for us. It's never leading us to something bad, ever. I feel like all the cards in the tarot represents a huge spectrum, but the Wheel of Fortune is the most esoteric card in the tarot. And it's connected to our center. It's always calling us back to our center, to ourselves. And there's this sense of trust here. Um... It might be time for you to create a little mantra, like something that you can constantly repeat out loud. And it could be connected to, again, what, something that you want to express, something that you want to accomplish, or just a feeling that you want to tap into as much as possible. Uh, the devil card is here. Okay, I love that. And the six of swords. So the devil card, of course, is not evil. I feel like... I've said that so many times on this channel, but the devil card is about the chains. What is holding you back? 
What are you keeping yourself from saying, doing, experiencing? And in order to break those chains, we have to identify them first. And sometimes it's so messy, it's so scary and deep, and again, tender is what I felt earlier, that we're just avoiding it. Of course, humans, we, we love to avoid suffering, we love to avoid getting uncomfortable, but not Scorpios. Scorpios understand the value of the, the darkness, the difficult, the challenging, the, this is your superpower. So energies like the devil card for you, it, you know it will help you grow. You know it will lead you to something expensive, something bigger. And again, you're identifying those chains. Okay, this truth, this thing I want to say, this thing I want to do, this dream that I have, I keep delaying it, but I know it's not denied. What is delayed is not denied, Scorpio. You know that, and it feels like for a moment you forgot here. It's like you needed to recalibrate. You needed to investigate a little bit before taking action. And with the Six of Swords, you're breaking up with limitations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I felt like I felt such goosebumps in my back and like heaviness. This is something that uh, happens to me since I was a child. I always feel like such heaviness on my back when I'm, I'm connecting with my guides. Um, you are breaking free from limitations. It's like you're noticing, okay, the, the limitations are in my mind. I have to say this thing. Okay, I'm going to be rational about it. It might scare this person away. It might, you know, create something weird and new and scary, but it has to come out. It has to happen. You're breaking up with certain limitation. Again, breaking free of those chains because you were able to clearly identify what is this thing that's been holding you back. And swords are the mind. It's the nervous system. It's not necessarily the truth. Sometimes it can feel like it's our truth. But if we investigate a little more, we realize, okay, there's more to this. I felt uncomfortable because there's actually so much beauty hiding there. Okay. You're doing shadow work, clearly. But this is like nothing new for Scorpio. It's nothing new for Scorpio. And also, shout out to all my Scorpio risings. You know, I'm Scorpio rising, and I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this is probably the coolest placement <laughs> in astrology, but I'm definitely biased. But Scorpio rising is so cool. Like Scorpio Sun, Scorpio rising, Scorpio Moon it is so so badass. Um, okay, let's see. What is at the heart of this reading? We have the Justice card, the Six of Wands at the heart of the reading in the Tower. Okay, we're going to have fun here investigating. So the Justice card is inviting us to gauge in a situation. It's a reminder that we can only gauge. We're not going to find true balance if we never make mistakes. So here there's the honoring of certain mistakes. It feels like you're able to have a 360 vision of what happened in the past or what happened in a situation. Like, okay, it's not just good or bad. It's not that I win and this person lose or vice versa. We all win. And I had to make mistakes in order to in order to tap into the truest version of myself, we have to make mistakes in order to find balance. 
And of course, it does not erase all the stress that comes with, you know, making mistakes or the regrets or whatever, but it, it works like a balm here. The Justice card really feels like a balm around the heart. You know, this card is, is ruled by Venus. So we are more aligned with our values. We realize that something is transforming. Again, maybe a mistake or a hardship, a challenge is transforming into something more aligned. It's helping us figure out who we really are. And again, tap into the truest version of ourselves. And with the six of wands here at the heart of this reading, so this is a very important card. Six of wands is known as the victory card. It's, it's like, I feel like everyone says that when they see the six of wands, because we love that, you know, people love to flatter, flatter their ego with the tarot. And this is not my style. Six of wands is a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of being celebrated. But I, I don't think it's necessarily about this big victory. It's about honoring the little victories. And I really believe that the people celebrating you might be your guides, your ancestors. It feels like you could be the first one in many, many, many generations, Scorpio, to accomplish something that's so aligned with the truest version of yourself. And that is so pure. So, so pure. Because Scorpio breaks the rules. You know, and the justice card again is saying, yeah, you're going to have to break the rules to figure out what works for you. And we all create rules for ourselves, you know, just gathering so much information from everywhere. We read books, we listen to podcasts, and then we have this person, this person, and we're like, okay, I have to do what this person is doing in order to have success. I have to eat what this person is eating in order to, to be healthy. No. We have to listen to our bodies, feel into things, and create rules for ourselves. And even the rules that we create for ourselves, we have to break once in a while. There's just something so malleable here about the energies. Um, and for some reason, I feel like it's all coming from the justice card. And if I'm being like super real with you, um, not something that I would necessarily say in other readings for other people, but Justice card is not my favorite card. That's like my personal experience with this card. And for some reason, I feel like this reading is unlocking something for me, how justice being connected to Venus is so malleable. You know, when I think about Venus, I think, of course, about Libra, but also Taurus, and this earth energy that is so malleable is like clay and play-doh. We can transform something and make it fit with a new reality or what we want our reality to look like. Oh boy, there's so much coming through right now. And the tower is here. The tower will clear everything that is non-essential in your life. Yeah. I feel like this could be connected to relationships. The people who made you follow certain rules. Okay, wow. You don't see me right now, but my eyes are closed. There's a lot coming through. Uh, authority. Gaining back authority over your own life, your body, your energy. There's so much seeds of doubt. So many seeds of doubt that were planted in your mind as a kid. And those became chains. And now that you identify those chains, some of them, the tower is clearing out. And it's like, you know, the naked folks here on the devil card. It's like you're, you're like that right now. It feels like it's, it's giving you the opportunity to start completely fresh but like to the bare bone is what I'm getting like completely start from the most authentic seed ever 
And it's so exciting. It's like you're throwing out the book from your past and you're ready to rewrite a completely new story, an inner story and an external story. It's interesting. I had this feeling with Leo also earlier today. The tower is giving you the opportunity to rewrite your story. And you are the hero. You are the one in control. So your, your power your, was taken away at one point, And I feel it could be connected to family or maybe a relationship that ended very badly or something that did not expand the way you wanted it to. And it left you kind of depleted. It, 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 it left you, again, feeling kind of naked. Like, wow, okay, I'm really alone in this. And there was a lot of pain here. And you investigated that pain as the Scorpio that you are. And now there's a clear path. And you're going to plant new seeds on that path, new flowers and new things and create and just really have fun. There's something so fun in this new path that's opening for you. Okay, I want to know for Scorpio, what's waiting for Scorpio on this new path? Why am I so freaking excited right now? The tower is the biggest gift for you, Scorpio. If someone in the Zodiac can work with the tower and use it as their advantage, it's Scorpio. And look at that, we have Magician. I told you, this is a brand new beginning. I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm not here to feed your ego and tell you what you want to hear. This, this is the truth that's coming out, the Magician. How are you going to use the tools that you have? Everything that's available to you. And you know, sometimes we wait for things to change and we wait for sometimes our bodies to change. We feel like, you know, we need to match our external world with what we feel inside. But it takes time. It really takes time to grow a lovely garden, to gather all the little information that we need. And that knowledge is transforming into wisdom for you. You're becoming wiser than ever. And when that happens, you're not as impacted by challenges, by other people's opinion. There's something so beautiful opening for you, Scorpio. Um, oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have to record part two like right away. Or I'll just have fun with this reading. But I wish I could perfectly explain what I'm feeling right now. It's like this excitement in my belly. Like when you're a kid and you're so excited for your birthday or you're so excited because you're leaving on this trip that you've been planning for years and years or meeting someone for the first time and it clicks. You know, this feeling of it's being reciprocated. Your joy, your happiness is being reciprocated. And like, I, I really want to freaking cry right now. I feel like such a baby, but it's so lovely. And I haven't felt that in a very long time. In a very, very long time, Scorpio. And I'm so happy it's your reading. Wow. I need clearer message from my guides right now. I need to know what is happening. What is happening, Scorpio? What is happening? Go get that lottery ticket, Scorpio. I don't know, but this is, again, something I haven't felt in so long. Wow. And the debt card is at the bottom of the deck. This is it. Coming back home to yourself. Tapping into, again, the truest version of yourself. Who you were before people got in the way. Before... You were challenged, your heart was broken, you were abandoned, or whatever happened to you. 
You're a Scorpio. You've been through a lot, obviously. You're coming back home to this version of you that was just so freaking excited about the little things. Nine of swords and nine of wands. And I'm sorry, guys, you're going to hear my voice shake because literally I'm, I'm freaking crying right now. <laughs> and I can't stand those readers that cry in every reading and just like to each their own. But I know some readers online are always like, I cried in this reading and I, I, I can't stand that. So uh, trust me. It's so genuine right now and I feel like I want to hug myself and hug, you know, hug all of my Scorpios, folks. Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands. First of all, let's honor that we have 9-9, nine, nine, which is a very powerful number, angel number. Nine is this excitement because we're almost done with something. We can feel it, but the mind gets in the way here with the Nine of Swords. And with the Nine of Wands, walls. This is the wounded warrior. This card for me is when we build walls around ourselves. We're keeping everybody out. So seeing those two cards together, I feel it's it's here to validate a feeling, validate maybe the stress. Maybe some of you are literally having nightmares right now and you're like, what's happening? Um, the energy is gaining momentum. And it feels like it's just the beginning. Things are getting more exciting. And you're going to feel what I'm feeling in my belly. I feel like a lot of you in the few days after this reading, you're going to remember what I said. And you're going to feel it. There's going to be this overwhelming feeling of excitement. And the brain is going to try to block it. Your self-defense mechanism, your defense mechanism, like old wounds, it's going to feel very tender. And your guides want you to remember you're supposed to feel that way. Your brain, your ego is trying to block change. It wants to keep you safe. Your defense mechanism, of course, you want to protect yourself. You, you don't want to get hurt again because when we're talking about a new beginning, we're talking about change. And it feels like you've been through so much in the past few years that you might be a little scared of change right now. You might crave a little bit of comfort, a little bit of like, you know, peace. You're not going to lose your peace. You're not going to, your peace is not going to be taken away you're still going to remain comfortable and safe. But you're, you're literally taking the jump of the fool, it feels like. So the cards here are just wanting to validate your brain, your ego, nervous system is going to feel very weird. And that's just a confirmation that something is on the way. You know, sometimes we're very excited and we don't know, is it anxiety or am I actually excited? This is something that happens a lot with my husband. You know, he's a Virgo ruled by Mercury. And uh, a lot of the times he's like, I'm so anxious. I'm so anxious. I'm like, are you actually nervous or excited? And when he breathes and really check in in his body, he's like, yeah, I think I'm excited. But why? Why is my brain like playing tricks on me? Yeah, because your intuition is saying something is about to change and the nervous system is trying to protect you. So take a deep breath and investigate. Okay, where in my body am I feeling this excitement? Am I nervous or am I excited? Because there's something here, especially with the six of wands at the heart of this reading, there's something so exciting on the way. The wheel is turning, bringing you to this new door. And it's like you have the key already. But it's like, okay, I'm shaking and it's hard to open this door. And once it's open, you don't even need a key anymore. You don't need anything. Yeah, my throat, my throat, my voice is changing. That always happens when I'm, woo, when I'm tapping into something important. 
You're literally throwing the key again, taking off the clothes. It's just, it's a brand new beginning. One like you've never experienced before. Okay, let me pick a monology card. It's like, try to remember your biggest success, Scorpio. The biggest success, like this thing that you accomplished and you were so proud. Or again, a moment where you felt like the universe was reciprocating something and it was just like you felt alive. Soon that will be nothing. That will be a memory and you will experience your biggest success. I know it. I'm not, I'm not afraid to, to tell you those things right now because I really feel it in my bones. And we have show the world the real you. Scorpio, this is it. What you are tapping into right now is the truest version of yourself. And you're about to express to the world what is that version. And you are attracting new folks, but definitely less is more. Clearing away. The tower is clearing the non-essential. You're going to be invited to declutter your house, to give away things, to donate things, to sell things, to create new things out of old things. There's this need to declutter, not only in the physical world, but also the mind. And I don't know why I have to tell you this. Like, I'm... It's so weird that I'm hearing that. I'm hearing a new playlist is being created. It's like creating the new playlist of your life. That sounds so cheesy and my ego is like, why are you saying that? But this is, you know, my eyes are closed and it's just what's coming through. I don't know if it's just me, but I get so excited when I create new playlists on Spotify. Like I love to create playlists for new things. I just got my driver's license for the first time. Uh, you know, I just got my driver's license and, you know, I just turned 35. So I was very excited and I created a playlist for my first ride alone. And I cried. It was so lovely, so beautiful, like adding songs that my 17 year old self who failed her exam, her driving license exam was just so bummed out and so disappointed, like music that I loved at that age. And it was such a beautiful moment. And I, I don't know why. I feel like I have to tell you this. This feels like a new playlist. Rewriting your inner story and like the feeling of a new playlist. It, it feels like a lot of you are going to get what I'm saying here. Uh, and if you don't, it's totally fine. Is there a card? A final word for Scorpio. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be very busy, Scorpio. Like, I think that you know. Also, that could be why your nervous system is going to be so activated. Because you're like, yeah, this success and this new beginning is going to invite me into so much work. And that's okay. There's no disconnect between your spiritual work, your spiritual life, and the work that you're doing Um on a day to day, there's something here that's helping you transform. It's like a practice is becoming craft, like craftsmanship. And there could be this huge boom with your business. There could be this change of luck. There's a massive wave of luck coming through. And it's a lot easier to say, oh yeah, that's bullshit. Everyone says that. Every reader on YouTube says that. But it takes so much courage to say, yeah. Oh yeah, I believe that shit. I believe that there's a wave of luck coming and I'm ready to grab my surfboard and ride that freaking wave like a pro. This is what's happening here. It's your choice. I'm sending so much love your way. Thank you so much for just listening, being receptive, and again, your generosity. Um... I love you all so much. Scorpios are amazing. And it's, it's literally an honor for me to read for you. And I know that the Scorpios listening really care. I know that you use the reading for your greater good. 
there's something so intelligent, emotionally intelligent about Scorpios that I I can post readings without fear with you. And it's something that I don't get a lot on YouTube, but I have it with you. So thank you. Take care and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.